All right. So let's just uh, minimize it and look at the last file inside our project structure that is this whgi.py file. So over here, this whgi basically stands for web server gateway interface, if I'm not wrong. And you don't need to do any kind of changes inside this file. Just understand that what this file does is it connects your website to the web server of Django. And if you want to know more about it, you can just copy and paste the uh, URL inside your Google. Google Chrome or whatever browser you are using, but I'm not going to get into it because we are not going to be touching this file at all. So guys, um, there's one more folder called templates folder. And this is the folder where we are going to be putting in our HTML files. And this is a virtual environment folder. So whenever we, you create a new project inside uh, PyCharm, what it does is it creates a virtual environment. So what exactly is a virtual environment? A virtual environment is basically used to isolate your project from the rest of the computer. So if you install any kind of uh, Python library, for example, request or something like that, or maybe a new version of Django or an old version of Django, even though you have installed inside the project an old version of Django still inside your computer, there will be the latest version of Django or any kind of library. So it basically is used to isolate your project from the rest of your computer or the rest of your data. So whatever kind of mess we do inside a project is not going to affect the rest of the computer and vice versa.